story time. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, my Paper Moon fam? It's your boy, Paper Sin. Today, we're actually finally starting a new series. What better way to start off a new series than to start telling stories about your exes? I mean, you might as well. I don't have seven deadly exes. This is not Scott Pilgrim versus the world. But what I do have, five exes that I can think of that did teach me some very valuable lessons um, throughout my life. And we're going to name those five uh, the seductress, the cheater, the one that got away, the goddess, and the liar. So obviously we'll start with the first one. That's what this video is about, the seductress. So without further ado, let's go. When I first met the seductress, it was through my friend Cody. Cody was this cool ass skateboarder dude who just really chill, really cool, was starting to teach me how to skateboard. But when I broke my wrist too many times, I said, screw that, I'm done, <laughs> obviously. But one day Cody hits me up and he's like, hey yo, Aaron, I got this friend of mine who wants to go bowling and she wants me to bring a friend. Is you down? Now back then, I was a fresh 18. And not only was I a fresh 18, I was a game lo gaming loving. <laughs> Sorry that over, but one motherfucking hour later. I'm more of a gamer, an anime lover. And your boy was a virgin. <laughs> That's right. And I was an 18 year old virgin because not all of us back then were running around 11 and 12 years old, throwing away our V cards that early. I'll admit it's not like I didn't try. I was just a late bloomer. So I didn't do it. <laughs> but one day uh, Cody hits me up. And he's like, hey, yo, Aaron, my friend wants to go bowling and she's bringing her sister with her. They want me to bring one more. Are you down? And obviously, me being an introverted, game-loving, anime weave virgin, I was not about to turn that down. Uh, I was feeling a little extroverted, so I was ready. I was down, let's go. So we pull up to the bowling alley and we walk up to this car his friend gets out she cool she cool you know what I'm saying and then her sister gets out her sister's got this long black hair banging body you're not gonna lie and she was just all right all around beautiful like actually thinking back on it all of my exes were dimes or either nines or tens and I had, I don't know why, like, <laughs> I can't complain, obviously, but it's the ones that are beautiful, but they know they're beautiful that you got to watch out for is what I learned through a lot of this. But that's not the lesson that this story has to, has to tell. So. We go into the bowling alley, and me and the seductress are getting along well, actually. Uh, <laughs> with little effort on my part. I mean, she is called the seductress for a reason. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> she was pretty good at, you know, doing those little those touches and rubbing on your shoulders and stuff like that and laughing, laughing at your stupid jokes, even though they weren't meant to be funny. But... She seemed to know what she want and she was after it. And so I guess about this time, since I had finally bloomed, I have finally came into my looks and stuff. So I guess I was able to catch her eye. Now, after the bowling is, was done, walked her to a car and everything and left. Nothing too major happened, you know? But we did start going to the bowling alley as a group more often and stuff like that. Eventually, they invite us to their log cabin in the woods on the weekend. Now, a couple things here. 
if that movie Cabin in the Woods had come out by then, I would not have gone. <laughs> and two, I was thinking, oh, this is your boy's chance. I know she feeling me because she been feeling on me. And we had, you know, a couple of makeout sessions, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I know what's going down at this cabin in the woods. And I'm getting hyped for it, bruh. Like, I am ready. The time comes and we driving down to the cabin in the woods. And my mind is so focused on what might happen that after all this time, now I start getting nervous. I start hitting like that J. Cole song. You know what I'm saying? Like, praying God don't let me bust quick. Hoping that my shit is big enough to wait. You feel me? Like all of that. And so as we get closer, I get more and more nervous. We finally get there, hop out, and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I can do this now. <laughs> But I still wanted to. I'm so nervous to the point where if I could, I wouldn't be able to pull the trigger. You feel me? So we walk in. There's a bed, TV, and some other stuff you know, in the back. We're all sitting on the bed watching a movie. And I'm starting to feel the vibe. I'm like, yes, this is good. I was nervous for no reason. Nothing's going to happen. We're just going to chill on the bed, all of us. Watch a couple, watch a movie, watch a couple movies, whatever, and then I guess we're gonna just gonna go to sleep. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go chill. Let me go, relax. I'm gonna go smoke a blunt in the car and come right back. So I leave, go to my car, smoke for a couple minutes, and when I come back, the whole seating arrangement had changed. It was just her on the bed and Cody and the sister sitting on the floor next to the bed. So now your boy's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I wasn't even gone that long. When did y'all orchestrate this whole movement for this to happen? And now, of course, I'm starting to get nervous again. I was just finally free of being nervous and chill. And then they throw this at me? I was cold-blooded. But then again, it's not like I'm saying no to the whole situation. I'm just palm sweaty, knees weak, arms heavy, you feel me? So I hop onto the bed, lean against the wall, and keep watching the movie. She gets closer as time briefly goes by. And next thing I know, she rubbing on my leg, and we are sliding down from sitting up against the wall to laying in the bed while making out. Now at the time, it was to my knowledge that Cody and his sister were asleep on the floor. And as things progress, I'm just like, I don't know what to do <laughs> or anything. And I feel like she could sense my nervousness because what she did next Bam. It was one of, if not the most sexiest thing a woman had ever done to me. She leans forward, starts to unbuckle my pants, whispers in my ear, just let it happen. And if not for that, I would not have been able to pull the trigger because that's exactly what we did. Let it happen. <laughs> so as your boy is about to finally throw his V card away, to cash that shit in for manhood or whatever you want to call it. Actually, I don't think throwing away your V card makes you a man, so I take that back. But I was getting ready to throw that shit away. And as your boy is starting to experience things for the first time, it was at this moment where I found out that when it comes to sex, <sighs> I 
Your boy is a fucking sex guy, you know what I'm saying? I was going ham. I was doing like a yin yang twin song over that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, I'm gonna beat that, beat that up. Uh, like, I'm talking about, I was going ham, bruh. It's like, what? Like, you would have never known I was nervous in the first place. You have never thought it was my first time in the first place. Like, bruh. <laughs> What, you thought I was just gonna slide in and end the whole game? Nah, bruh, nah. But low key, I ain't gonna cap. Uh, I do have a story where that did happen and uh, you might be able to guess which one of those exes that happened to. Yeah, but it didn't happen today. Not this time. Nah, bruh. For this moment, I invented sex. That was this moment. <laughs> Your boy made it happen, made it work, swam in the oceans, and just commanded the oceans. Bro, I was Aquaman up in that piece, bro. What even more had me on my ego was that she had to call time out. She said she couldn't take no more. She got up and she walked out to the bathroom. And I'm like, uh, I didn't get to end my in my game. I didn't get to finish. I'm just sitting lying there like, well shit. <laughs> uh, I guess we're done. And it was at that time that the the sister that I thought was asleep crawls up and onto the bed, pins me against the wall, rubs on my leg, leans forward, and says Make a part two. <laughs> and I was like, I bet. <laughs> we're gonna end the story right here and we're gonna pick it up in a part two. And you'll find out the lesson I learned about this girl or the lesson this girl taught me. So um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that. And yeah, you know how it is, in case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace, and much love to you. I had a grenade.